What is up guys? Welcome to another video. It's definitely been a quite a while, but we're back and we're today going to go see Monday Night Raw in Kansas City and also meet current world uh, WWE World Heavyweight Champion uh, Damian Priest. It is 324 in the morning so I'm very tired but um, I've heard with these kind of meet and greet events at the grocery store it's kind of early bird gets the worm um, I met quick trip getting my breakfast of a, of a monster and a taquito so so nutritious but um, that's what helps keep me awake so um, it won't be very much scenery on the way there it'll probably be pretty dark so I probably won't have a ton of uh, sights to show you on the way there but uh, hopefully when I get to the grocery store we'll see if there's anyone in line or if we're the first person we'll just get to chill in our car for a little bit so uh, yeah thanks again for joining us make sure to hit subscribe before we get started and I will see you when we're in Kansas City one drive to Kansas City Letel. what's up guys so we finally made it to the Hy-Vee in Kansas City and now they're just setting everything up uh, for the Damien Priest uh, meet and greet. I'm just chilling here, having a coffee. It's about 50 degrees outside, so definitely one of the colder days. So, um, yeah, I'll see if I can get a video when uh, Damien comes out, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to work it uh, the right way. I might just get pictures, but um, yeah, I watched <laughs> Click with Adam Sandler, so it was, it was like a good throwback definitely um and now i'm currently watching a sydney lamette film called death trap uh definitely good ways to uh pass the time because we're i think we've still got about two and a half hours until the the event actually starts so uh yeah i'll be coming at you guys with another update here soon What's up guys? Um, I'm currently about fourth or fifth in line and now the line has stretched out the door. Not quite what it was for Cody Rhodes a couple days ago. But uh, yeah, we're about, I believe, 30 minutes until the signing's about to kick off. Uh, they are gonna let him sign uh, a trading card I brought without having to buy a bottle of vodka because I don't know what the heck I'd do with a, a signed bottle of vodka. But yeah, almost there. All right, well, meet and greet complete. We got our signed card here, looking pretty solid. I'll put a better picture of it up right now, but holy crap, uh, that was pretty intense. Um, I was glad I got through with it when I did, but uh, Damien couldn't be a nicer guy, super chill, um, and, and this line looks pretty long, not as long as the Cody Rhodes one, but, uh, but yeah. So now I believe I might go eat some lunch or just uh, just chill in my car and take a little bit of a nap because we had an early day. But I will uh, I will take a little bit of a video of the line on the way out there just so you guys can see it. Hey guys, uh, just finished lunch at a local spot called LC's Barbecue, and holy cow, it was a ton of food. I can't believe <laughs> the amount. I barely finished half the sandwich and. The fries are absolutely huge. So if you're in the Kansas City area, I definitely recommend LC's Barbecue. Just so tasty. Just amazing, amazing barbecue. I, I tried to film in there, um, but I didn't. It was too loud and there was something playing in the background. So I didn't really get a chance to uh, get a good video. But uh, I'll show a picture of what the food looked like here in the corner of the screen. But um, yeah, that was a great time. Um, I think next I'm definitely going to need a nap after all of that. So I'm going to drive to a parking lot somewhere and catch up on all the sleep that I lost from leaving home at about 3 a.m. So, uh, after that, 
we'll head towards uh, the T-Mobile Center. What's up guys, we are heading to the T-Mobile Center. We're about 20 minutes away and we're gonna park in our parking space. Um, I haven't been able to shoot a ton of extra footage just because I haven't really seen a ton of sights. I'm kind of just coming to see the show and then I'll head out. But um, yeah, uh, about 20 minutes and then we'll be there and we'll see this, what's sure to be a pretty crazy night in the WWE draft. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys when I get there. Well, finally made it to my parking space right here. Pretty close because um, the T-Mobile Center is right here. But I found some pretty cool uh, buildings here off in the distance um, that I'm just gonna take a video of and take a look at the skyline since I didn't uh, really get any kind of travel footage whatsoever. So yeah, this is a beautiful city once you get to the right place. So uh, yeah, check out some of the, some of the videos. What's up guys, finally made it to my seat and this is insane. Second row, I did this at a SmackDown a couple years ago in my hometown of Wichita, but oh my gosh, it's just, it, it feels so close. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, I know they're probably gonna do the main event taping before this, but man, every time you're this close, you just don't realize how close you are. This is gonna be so cool, so excited. And I'll definitely be showing the, uh, Entrances, I can't play any of the music, but I'll try to video as much as I can. And uh, with my Fiend hat, I'm hoping for an Uncle Howdy appearance. Who knows? <laughs> All right. What is up guys? We are finally home from the show last night and it was absolutely insane. It was probably the craziest WWE show that I had ever been to. 
partially because of where I was sitting, um, but holy crap, it was so crazy. And it, it was easily the craziest show I've ever been to. I, I have to repeat myself. You'll see why <laughs> for, from the previous footage. It was crazy. Um, I had my sign for Becky Lynch. Um, I could tell that she saw it because uh, at the commercial break, she was uh, getting on the ropes and saying hi to all the fans. And then she pointed at my sign and gave me a thumbs up, which was pretty cool. So it was pretty cool to get noticed there. Even in general, just to see Becky uh, live is, is always a treat. Um, one of my favorite wrestlers, period. Um, and then you had Gunther and Woods, um, which is always a, it's always fun to see Gunther work. He's a very good, uh, very good guy in the ring and it was just a very live match and then something crazy happened so before the show they they have the the talk about the Kansas City stuff that happened in the Chiefs parade and the unfortunate situation with the the shooting that happened there but uh all and so there are already Chiefs players there but all of a sudden I'm just sitting back there and in what's Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> uh, yeah, but Patrick Mahomes just walks right by me and sits down in the front row. I'm like five to eight feet away from him. And he's watching the match. People are pointing it out. It's absolutely insane. He's like five to eight feet away from me. He's wearing his Super Bowl rings. I was like, this is crazy. H how is Patrick Mahomes here at just a random Monday Night Raw? But I saw at the beginning that he was basically promoting Prime, which is Logan Paul's, you know, energy drink, sports drink brand. So I figured that he was going to be there to support Logan Paul. And of course, in comes Logan Paul and I show speed. And they announced some picks for the for the second round of the WWE draft. And then Logan Paul goes in to cut a promo against, I think, Jay Uso. And then uh, Speed actually walks right in front of me. And, and I dap up Speed real quick. And then he goes and sits by Patrick Mahomes. Um, and then Logan Paul walks over to take Patrick Mahomes' Super Bowl ring so he can do his brass knuckles bit. And uh, it was so crazy. It was just right, right in front of me. And, uh, and then, of course, Logan Paul runs out, gets chased by Braun Strowman. And uh, that happened right in front of me. Braun wants to face off against Patrick Mahomes. And you could see me in the camera shot, like freaking out while I'm recording it. It was so crazy. But after that, um, Patrick Mahomes kind of jetted out really quickly. I don't really blame him. He's in Kansas City. A lot of people were yelling at him like, Patrick, Patrick, Patrick. And then he would just ignore him. I didn't really blame him. You know, it's, <laughs> you're in an arena where pretty much everyone there is going to adore you. So he, he got out of there real quick. And I didn't buy it much merch except for this cool WrestleMania cup that they were selling for five bucks. So I was like, that's a pretty good deal. I'll add it to my collection. But even aside from the craziness, it was a really good show. Um, you guys know that I'm a huge Bray Wyatt fan. Um, I had to take time off from wrestling because um, it was that the death of him just was so affecting um, that I, I had to, you know, I couldn't face that. So you, you guys know that I'm a huge Bray Wyatt fan and his, his death was really hard because I, I couldn't really watch wrestling because I didn't really want to face that he was actually gone at such a young age. But, you know, now I'm excited after watching the documentary and seeing that his brother is going to continue on his work. Um, it was really cool because they did have um, a little teaser of a song that, that played obviously teasing Uncle Howdy. And so all of us got out our phone cameras and, and waved them around, which was really cool. And there was a thank you Bray chant, um, which felt really good to take part in. And of course I was wearing my Fiend sweatshirt and Fiend hat with my Becky Lynch shirt. So I, I think I'm always gonna wear that Fiend hat to every event that I go to as kind of like a tribute to him. And the WWE draft was fine. There wasn't really anything that I thought was too crazy except for Braun Strowman coming back. But it was just like most of the time they just drafted guys back to where they were. <laughs> it, it wasn't anything that was too outlandish. I, I think they just wanted to come up with something to compete with the NFL draft um, happening at the same time. So it, it is what it is. And then you had some just generally pretty awesome wrestling matches. Like you had 
um, Nia Jax versus Liv Morgan. You had uh, Sami Zayn versus Bronson Reed for the Intercontinental Championship. You had R Truth and The Miz um, competing with Alpha Academy for the uh, uh, tag team titles. And then you obviously have the main event, which is uh, um, the Judgment Day versus Jey Uso, Ricochet, and Andrade, which was pretty fun. Um, I will say the one thing that I thought was stupid is that there was no dark match. There was nothing after the show went off air. And I think that's always a pretty nice tradition to see like some kind of crazy big wrestler who may not wrestle all the time on TV that at least for the fans there, you get to see that guy do something like, even if it was CM Punk coming out and cutting some kind of promo, um, I feel like that would have been cool, but no. And, um, speaking of CM Punk, he did show up, which was really cool. He made two entrances. So I got to sing along with the theme, um, which was so fun. Um, it's just cool to see him back in WWE and be able to see him live cutting promos, you know, be so up close with him. It, it was awesome. It was so cool. So yeah, overall a pretty crazy day. Um, I'm very tired. I'm on vacation to get today again. I'm just gonna be resting, you know, just <laughs> recovering from that crazy drive. I got back at about 2.30 a.m. Um, and went right to sleep. So um, I really appreciate you guys joining me after so long. Um, I'm not exactly sure what wrestling videos will look like on this channel again, but I'm gonna try my best to um, get some stuff going, maybe some training card videos. Um, it would be very cool if I could get to some more meet and greets because I have fun with those. Um, but yeah, I would really appreciate your guys' support. And uh, if you could like this video, if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content, I would be so grateful for that. And I'm already so grateful for the 1.3K subscribers that we already have. So. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this road trip vlog for Monday Night Raw on April 29th. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.